Hi everyone, hope you all fine. Myself Kasturi from AD Department, SNS College of Technology and I am handling the subject Cloud Computing and its applications to the pre-final year AD Department students. So in this lecture series, we are going to see about uh, cloud security attacks. So the first attack is the guest hopping. So the second one is the hyperjacking. Third one is the VM migration attack. So we are going to see one by one. So as a start, first we are going to see about what is guest hopping. Okay. So guest hopping in cloud computing. First we have to uh, imagine a busy apartment building that is the cloud. So each tenant has their own apartment that is virtual machine. Okay. So cloud and virtual machine. So we are uh, compared with this building apartment and the tenant. So has their own apartment. Everyone has the same electricity, water and structure. Okay. Efficient but risky. So now uh, what if a thief in one flat could sneak into another through shared pipes or vents. So that's guest hopping. So yes, still the way attackers move between virtual machines hosted on the same physical server. So that is the guest hopping. So in recent industry note, in uh, 2024, a cyber security report by Trend Micro revealed increased lateral movement attacks in public clouds like AWS and Azure where attackers exploited shared resources to spy on adjacent workloads. So what is guest hopping? So a hacker can't break into their real target that is VMA and they look for a weaker neighbor that is VMB okay, on the same host. Once they hijack VMB, they hop across shared hardware means a CPU, memory cache and network to reach VMA. So this is possible because virtualization though efficient makes multiple VMs share one machine a double edged swap. So as an industry example considered in 2023, researchers at the ETH Zurich demonstrated a cross VM data leakage attack. So exploiting a CPU cache timing providing how easily data can leak between VMs on Amazon EC2 servers. Okay. So why guest hopping matters? So the cloud's strength is multi-tenancy. It's also its weakness. So many users share the same physical server to save cost and improve utilization. But if one VM fails, uh, falls others nearby may fall too. So this kind of attack can cause a data theft, service down, downtime or even uh, ransomware uh, spread across the tenants. As a real state, in, uh, in the year of 2024, IBM's cost of a data breach reported, uh, 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 report showed that Sometimes percentage of organizations faced cloud later breaches due to poor VM isolation and misconfiguration. For example, in a simulator breach, a cloud security firm found that compromising a single developer's test VM in Azure could open lateral access to production workloads within minutes. So real world context multi-tenancy risk. So guest hopping isn't limited to VMs, it extends to tenant hopping. In 2024, a Microsoft Azure vulnerability exposed how a misconfigured identity token could let one tenant access another's environment. So think of two banks are storing data in the same wallet. Okay, If one lock in a faculty, faulty, but uh, both are exposed. In SaaS platforms, a privilege escalation between customers becomes easier if app level isolation fails. In uh, infrastructure as a service, if the hypervisor is weak, boundaries between users blur a hacker's dream. Okay? So related uh, threats are hyperjacking versus uh, guest hopping. So two things, two styles. Hyperjacker. It steals the building's master key, that is hypervisor, controlling every plant silently. But in, in terms of guest hopping, so finds a way from one plant to another through shared walls. Okay. As an industry example, in 2023, uh, cloud bust malware exploit, exploited VMware workstation hypervisor bug, enabling attackers to run malicious code 
and the host mission so meanwhile uh, guest hopping remains more common especially in weekly segmented virtual environments so how guest hopping happens so we are going to see in our technical aspect so reconcile us attackers uh, map which vms share hardware that is like identifying who is in which apartment next one is the exploit isolation weaknesses they look for weak locks that is bugs in hypervisor or memory management deploy attack tools so use root kits side channel attack or resource hijacking next one is the lateral movements so jump from one compromised vm to another via shared cpu caches or memory in a real case example in the year of 2022 the cache bleed attack showed showed how a malicious vm could recover private rsc keys from another vm through shared cpu cache timing leaks so cloud security challenges uh, means the cloud is a skyscraper built on trust but three cracks can bring it down first one is the single point of failure if the hypervisor is building foundation is breached every tenant is exposed to the attackers next one is the insider threats so cloud admin misuse or physical data center access can worsen the risks third one is the architectural complexity so hybrid and multi cloud setups create confusing or overlapping walls as an example in 2024 capital one revamped its cloud architecture after an insider related misconsideration led to exposure of thousand million plus records in aws okay mitigation strategies so fighting guest hopping means building stronger walls and alarms so hardened hypervisors so regular patching like VMware EFXA 7.0 updates and disabling unused modules, strict access controls, so least privilege model, separate VM admin and hypervisor roles, behavioral uh, monitoring, so use AI based tools like Microsoft Defender for cloud to detect unusual VM behaviors. Next one is the virtualized security tools, they employ workload aware firewalls that adopt to VM migration like uh, Palo, Alto, Prisma, Cloud. Emerging defenses and best practices. So cloud security is evolving fast. Defense must move faster. So mobile security solutions like a dynamic workflow protection that follows VMs across regions. Tenant isolation enforcement. So routine audits and token hardening as adopted by Google Cloud Shield in 2025. Continuous testing. So red team assimilations and chalk chaos uh, engineering to test isolation layers in terms of security education building awareness in half the defense uh, training reduces 60 percent of the misconsiderations for example aws security hub now includes tenant isolation testing features as part of its 2025 compliance toolkit securing the clouds shared future so guest hopping teaches us one thing Shared doesn't mean safe. So the future of cloud security lies in shared responsibility where both providers and users collaborate. Providers secure the infrastructure, customers secure their workloads. So with continuous improvement, awareness and AI driven defenses, we can ensure the cloud remains a fortress, not a target. Thank you for the listening.